I should have put you somewhere with no defiance. Man, she not in speech with nothing around you. Katie, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know I'm giving it by me. Cause you had desires. I know, I know, hey y'all the company i work with today is curly me hair once again they sent me this 30 inch closure unit This wig comes with four combs in the inside and an adjustable strap on the bottom of the wig. This is a 5x5 five five closure wig, HG lace, and it does come pre-plucked. So now we're back with my girl Nisha. Y'all know this is my fave. I'm going to tell you everything I did off camera, which was I dyed the hair jet black. I also added one bundle of 30 inch just to give it some more fullness because I knew I was going to be doing crimps today. And I also bleached the knots. I do want to let you guys know that I did notice while plucking this wig, like the hairs were breaking off instead of just like actually pulling fully out the knot. So keep that in mind. Um, yeah. So right now what I'm doing is I'm cutting off those white tabs because we want to give like the illusion that this is a frontal and you have to get rid of those thick tabs because if you try to glue those down, it's going to look super unnatural. Right now we're just throwing the wig down and then after that we're going to prepare to start gluing this wig down. As you can see, I've already put my dots of glue on her skin and I'm just smoothing it back using the end of my eyebrow razor and you're going to smooth that back thin and let it turn clear. I did apply four layers today as normal. Her last layer is clear, so we're going to proceed to lay that lace down and we're going to use the teeth of our comb and our blow dryer and we're just going to smooth that directly into the skin. Now it's time to tie the lace down for 10 minutes and then we're going to come back. Off camera, I did blow dry her hair straight and now we're going to proceed to take that elastic band off and cut that excess lace off.
We are doing a middle part today, so I'm going to use my wax stick and my hot comb just to lay that top down to ensure that it is flat with no bumps and no lumps. And after that, we're going to, y'all already know the process, I'm going to separate my hairs from my baby hairs and spray the lace with my hairspray. After we cut that elastic band off, we went ahead and cut those baby hairs and now we're just curling them upwards using our mini flat irons and then we're going to swoop them into place using our mousse.
Now it is time to do our crimps. We are using our free spray. You're going to generously spray this on the top and the bottom of the hair. Comb that all the way through. And then you're going to take your Ion Triple Barrel Waver. I'm using it on the highest degree setting, which is 450 degrees. And you're just going to start crimping. You press down. And then when you move down, you start it on the last crimp that you just did. You'll see what I'm saying.
Make sure as you move up the head with your crimps that you do them in a brick layer um, position. So what I mean by that, you see how on the bottom we did two crimps and it's a split down the middle because it's just two crimps. We're not going to do uh, crimps in those same exact position. We're going to do a crimp in the middle of those two crimps. That way, when it lays down, you don't even see the part below it, if you get what I'm saying. So basically, it's kind of like box braids. Like you don't put a braid directly on top of each other because you will see in between the hair. You want to do crimps in between the spaces. So when it all lays down, it all looks cohesive and you don't see any like spaces. So in between those two crimps that are separated in the middle, I'm going to put a crimp right in between both of those. And then we'll do another one on each side. And then that way that row will have three. You get what I'm saying? I know I just said so much. So now we're finna fix these way over bleach knots. <laughs> that part looks a mess. So we're using our Clairol Root Touch Up in the color black. And this is another alternative to using instead of the uh, black spray temporary hair color. This is a, um, I don't know if this is temporary or not. I think it is. Um, it's like a hair color gel pen and you literally just squeeze the um, bottle some and you just start painting on and as you can see that part is just starting to form together it's gonna look super neat and you know you can just disguise those over bleach knots because girl i don't know what happened but i went crazy on the bleach knots today and um if you want to make your part even more um sharper or visible you can go in and add some concealer or powder i'm going to go in and add powder but first before i do that i'm going to spray this with hairspray just to lock it in place and then i'll go back in with my powder just to make it even more you know defined um if you like to keep your part more natural you don't have to put concealer or powder in it or you can do a concealer or powder that's closest to the skin tone i like to go a little bit lighter than the skin tone because the scalp is naturally lighter on you know our real hair heads so that's kind of what i try to mimic um you know you just do what you like best for you As you can see, everything is looking so much more polished and neat, and I love it. And now we're about to finish these crimps off camera. As you can see, they are juicy, and yes. So what I'm doing right now is just spraying some Beyond the Zone on my hand. I've already sprayed on her hair, and I'm just gonna quickly, it looks like I'm doing it rough, but I'm just gonna quickly run my fingers through it, you know, not to freeze it up too much, but to separate it. Um, If you did notice in the front, her crimps are bigger than the ones in the back, cause girl, my um crimp iron had you know had them sparked up so i had to throw it away it had burnt out so i had to finish the top with my bed head but it's my bed head tg wave artist but the crimp still looked pretty cohesive you know i'm the finesse king so i'm just gonna make it work you know so we were already like 75 percent done with the crimp so i had to make it work but it still came out pretty cute to me if i do say so myself yes once again, this is a 30-inch 5x5 lace closure wig from Curly Me Hair. Make sure you check the description box for more information on this wig and how to book me. I have a question for you guys. Who does my model Nisha look like? Tell me in the comments below. I want to see what y'all think. 